Okay, this is a quick uh, tutorial uh, showing you how to make more realistic uh, depth of field in Photoshop. I usually use the lens blur filter instead of using the Gaussian blur filter because in my opinion the Gaussian blur uh, is uh, quite fake. So if you have a simple image like this one and for example let's say I want to have this uh, background gradually out of focus you can uh, use the quick mask mode and the gradient tool and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing I'll do is duplicate the background and in a second I'll also show you why you should use the lens blur filter because you can create some uh, more advanced stuff with that, a more complex uh, depth of field. But you know, for a simple image like this one uh, you'll first activate the quick mask mode, get the gradient tool, then use I usually use the linear uh, the linear gradient but if you want to have this thing in focus for example uh, you should have uh, if you want to keep this uh, part here in focus then you'll have to have this part out of focus and also this one out of focus and then and then you should use the um, the reflected gradient and you will create a gradient like that and that way uh, everything that's red here will be in focus and uh, all of the other and the rest of the image will be out of focus but uh, let's keep it simple and use the linear one because I want to keep this um, this part here in focus and I want to gradually uh, get out of focus so I'll click here and drag like that so all this part will be in focus and from here will start to fade uh, to fade and get out of focus and once you have the selection like that click the quick mask mode icon again and now this part uh, is selected and even if you don't see it this is a gradual selection and you'll, you'll see that uh, in a second so go to filter blur lens blur and from here you can choose uh, any of the settings that you want I usually choose more accurate but it takes a bit more time to to apply it and of course if you have the selection inverted you can choose this option invert and that way you have just the opposite. You have this out of focus and the background is in focus. But let's use the original idea. And of course you can increase the radius and add as much effect as you want. Of course too much effect is not realistic as you can see right now. So I'll decrease it to about 17 pixels. And I'll click OK so that you can see the result. So you can see that uh, I should have made the the selection a bit uh, the gradient a bit uh, smoother so I'll do it again so I'll drag that gradient again like that exit the quick mask mode and apply the filter again so now it looks a bit better so that's your depth of field effect as I said, with this um, filter you can create more advanced uh, depth of field effects uh, using channels. So you can create a new alpha channel and uh, you can paint with white. Let me switch colors. Uh, this is just to, uh, to give you an idea of uh, what you can do with this. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many details and go back to layers and get rid of this uh, layer duplicate again and now I have this alpha channel here I can go back to filter blur lens blur and you have this option here that says death map if you click on this drop down menu you can you, fi you will find your uh, alpha channel and if you click OK, uh, watch what happens. Everything that I painted with uh, white is out of focus. And everything that is black is in focus. So I hope that gives you an idea of uh, how you can use this filter. You can uh, change the focal distance. Uh, you can uh, invert that. So you have more control uh, using depth maps. You have more control uh, over the effect. I actually had uh, have a tutorial, a more uh, detailed tutorial of how to use uh, depth maps to simulate the uh, distance. So, for example, if you have a person here, and uh, you can simulate uh, and create more uh, a more precise depth of field. So, uh, that's uh, the controls that you have here. If you want to know more about that, just uh, try for yourself. 
and especially uh, if you're a photographer maybe you'll, you'll understand uh, more about that so I hope you liked uh, this tutorial and that's all for today see you next time